Now, your next topic in your second unit is about your FP growth algorithm. In previous session, we have seen what is a priori algorithm. Now, we are going to study about your FP growth algorithm. What do you mean by FP? FP is nothing but your frequent pattern growth algorithm. It is an efficient and scalable method for mining the complete set of frequent patterns using a tree structure. So, out of this frequent patterns, we are going to get what? A tree structure. And this is what efficient and scalable method. Now, you all can see an example here. You have got a transaction ID and items. I have total 8 transactions and I have got different items. Now, let us see how we can solve this. Now, first we have to list the items. First, I am going to do what? List the items. Now, what are the items I have? Here I have A, I have B, C, D, E. I have 5 items. What are the items I have? A, B, C, D and E. If you all can find, do I have any other items like F, G? No, I have only A, B, C, D, E. Now, first thing I need to do here is list the priorities. What I have to do? I have to list the priorities. How do I list the priorities? To list the priorities, I have two things. Before going to that, I will tell you the next step that is your first I am going to write about the items, then I am going to write your frequency, then I have your priority. Now, this is my second table. To list the priorities, this is by table I will be using. Now, what are the items I have? List of items A, B, C, D, E. Now, these are the items. So, now what is the frequency I am going to get? Frequency. Frequency is nothing but what? How many times it is repeating? Now, A is repeating how many times in all the different transactions? 1, 2, 3, 4. It is 4. Frequency is 4. Now, B. How many times B is repeating? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 6 times. Now, how many times C is repeating? 1, 2, 3. Only 3 times C is repeating. Now, how many times D is repeating? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 times. Now, how many times E is repeating? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 times. Done. I, ha I have the items. Now, I have got the frequency also. Now, how do I find the priorities? Whenever I have more frequency, that is given more priority. Or you can tell it as more frequency which gives you what? First priority. Then, if I have same frequency, if the items are having same frequency, then what I have to do? I have to follow FCFS. What do you mean by FCFS? FCFS stands for your first come first serve. Whichever is coming first, that will be giving it as first priority. That I will be giving it as what? First priority. Now, you all can see here. Now, wh what is more frequency I have? I have more frequency for B and I have more frequency for what? D. Now, both are having same frequency. When both have same frequency, what I have to do? I need to follow FCFS. That is first come first. So, what is coming first? B is coming first. Now, the priority is 1 for B. Now, for D it is 2. Now, next. What is the highest priority I have? Sorry. A is having 5. Frequency 5. C. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 5. Now, what is the next priority I have for A? It is 3. Next is E. E is what? 4. The last priority is C, that is 5. Now, I have got what? Priorities. Now, for B, it is the first priority as it is 6. D is also 6, but it is second priority. Why I have given second priority? Because the rule is telling us same frequency gives what? 
has come first. So, so B is coming first. I have taken B. Now, the next highest frequency I have it for what? A. So, I am giving it as 3. Next is E, 4. I am giving it as 4. For next as C, it is 3. The frequency is 3. So, it is 5. Now, you have got different priorities. Now, I am going to arrange the given items according to the priority order. So, now what am I going to do? The next one is list the items in priority order. Now, again, I need to write it as what? Let it be my transaction ID. These are my items and this is my ordering. Done. Transaction ID is 1. Items I have what? E, A, D, B. 2, D, A, E, C, B. Transaction 3, I have C, A, B, E. Transaction 4, I have B, A, D. Transaction 5 is only D. Transaction 6, I have it as D, B. Transaction 7, I have A, D, E. Now, transaction 8, I have what? B, C. Now, these are the old items, whatever I have. Now, I have to do ordering. How I have to do ordering? Based upon the priority. Now, for this items, I need to do it in the form of priority. Now, according to the priority, what, what do I get? B is the first priority, then comes D, then comes A, then comes E. B, D, A, E. Yes or no? B is 1, D is 2, A is 3, then E is 4. Now, here what do I get? I will get it as what? B, D, A, E, C. To make it easy, you all can just write here what is the order. Now, what is the order you have got? B, D, A, then you have got E and C. This is the order. For your reference, it would be easy. Now, here B, A, E, C. Next year B, D, A. Next year I have only D, I will write D. Next year it is B, D. Next here it is D, A, E. Next here it is B, C. Same. Done. I have done ordering based upon the priorities, whatever I got. Now what I have to do? Now what I have to do? I need to construct I need to construct what? FP tree. So, how am I going to construct FT, FP tree? Initially, I do not have anything. So, that would be what? A null value. So, initially, I do not have anything. So, that is what is my null value. So, now, based upon this ordering, I am going to construct my tree. First, for B, null, I have B. Under B, I have D. Under D, I have A, I have E. Yes, this is what I have got. Now, here I will be writing occurrence. I will tell you what is the use of this occurrence later. Now, B is coming for how many times? 1, D is 1, A is 1, E is 1. Done? Now, next what do I have? B, D, A, E, C. B I have, D I have, A I have, E I have, C. Now, B has come for the second time, D has come for the second time, A has come for the second time, E has come for the second time, C has come for the first time. Done. Now, next what do I have? I have B, A, E, C. For the null, I have B. For the root node, I have B. But for B, I have what D? Do I have A? No. 
so i will be writing another branch here b a for a again it's c then it is c yes for b b is already having a root null as a root so b i have for b here i have d i don't have a directly so i'll be writing it as a for a again e then c this is the order now b has come for next is third time b has come for the third time now as is a new one i'll be writing again a for the first time e for the first time c for the first time yes next what do i have b d a now do i have b d a in the tree yes it's directly b b is connected to d d is connected to a so b has come for the fourth time d has here come for the third time and then your a has again come for the third time done now next you have only d do i do you have only d anywhere no you don't have so again i'll be taking a new d as a this thing from the root done now d is a new one which again i have got it for the first time then i have what b d do i have b d yes i have b i have d so b has come for the fifth time d has come for the fourth time yes now even this is done next is what d a e now do i have d yes i have d i have d i need to write it with a and i need to write it with e now d is occurring for second time a is again a new one for the first time with the b as a root sorry d as a root and e is also first time with this now done next is b c do i have b c no i have already b now i'll be having connecting a c with this so b is coming for the sixth time now c is a new one i'll be coming it for the first time this is what is your fp tree for the null we are going to connect it based on the priority order of the given items this is your fp tree now i'll tell you why did i use this occurrence why did i use this now 1 2 3 4 5 6 b is used for six times now what is the frequency of b here you all can see frequency of b is 6 yes i have got it correct to check with the frequency whether the tree whatever i have drawn is correct or wrong so for that we are going to write this occurrence next for d d is how many times 1 2 3 4 here i have 5 and 6 d is 6 yes my d is 6 done next coming with a a is how many times here 1 2 3 here i have got other a 4 here i have got other a 5 yes frequency is 5 done next coming up with what e e is how many times 1 2 3 4 frequency of e is 4 done next c c is how many times 1 2 3 c is frequency is 3 hence the whatever tree we have constructed is correct this is all about your fp growth algorithm in your fp growth algorithm first we are going to list the items based upon that items we are going to take the frequencies for that frequencies we are going to take the priorities how are we going to take the priorities if they it has more frequency that would be given more priority that is nothing but the first priority we are going to give it otherwise the other cases if they have the same priority we are going to use fcfs that is first come first serve basis now after that you are going to list the items in priority order you are going to write the transaction id the old items and for that we are going to do the ordering for the ordered this thing priority ordered this thing for that we are going to construct an fp tree this is all about your fp growth algorithm